Kainan, great to see you today. Today we are going to talk about Ryan's specialty group. It sounds like a plan. Look forward to it. As, as people might know, they decided to go public and they announced that It's pretty interesting. They published their S1. You know, Ryan, Pat Ryan's 84, and he's going public again. And it'll be interesting to see how the markets react. There's lots of interesting information in the S1, but as we know, that's their best marketing foot forward, right? Of course. And later on, it will be even more interesting to see after their first uh, uh, public report, To see how we can compare them to the cool and sexy short text that went public recently yeah. yeah and I think the other thing that's interesting is that you do see a few a few things in the broker market one is a while back goosehead went public and they're more of a retail broker but they've gone public and they're doing quite well the markets have been very happy Ryan operates in the wholesale broker business and And there's been a hell of a lot of, of consolidation there. You know, they last year consolidated with one of the other big players, all risks. Amwins bought worldwide fa- uh, facilities, um, continuing to allow Amwins to be really in the top of, of the wholesale broker. And just to put it into perspective, that they're you know, overseeing probably 15 plus billion dollars in premium here. So it's, it, these are large groups. Um, and the acquisition um, needs both on buying smaller brokers but also buying additional large wholesale uh, things will continue so that's great so we're talking about that they have three main components into in their company and that's the wholesale brokerage so that's 60 percent there is the underwriting uh, or basically an MGU capability and that's about 17 percent. And of course, this is where I lost my notes, which is all about their uh, binding authority. And actually, that's the 17%. The underwriting was 21%. If we look at the annual for 2020, it's two-thirds of their business is wholesale brokerage. 21% is this underwriting management, MGAs, managing general uh, agents, managing general underwriters, and the binding authority of 13%. But when you read into what they're trying to accomplish going forward as a growth strategy, building out that binding authority is one of those key things that they've indicated as a key success factor moving forward. But I think the other interesting part around this MGU piece is um, part of the S1 sounds like an insure tech where they're talking about their connector, um, their connector platform, which will allow uh, a which will allow a broker or a client to, to pretty much fully bind in an online channel straight through, um, ultimately improving the customer experience and improving the speed to market and lowering their operating costs. So it'll be interesting to see. And, and that was one of the reasons they articulated uh, buying all risks was because all risks had a pretty well-defined API model. When we look at their results, uh, You know their net income or their net income on a billion dollars of of revenue was only seventy and a half million or about six point nine percent and while that's decent it's actually and when you look at some other insure techs like a, a lemonade or a root um, where they're not making any money uh, it, it certainly looks great but compared to some of their competitors it's probably 50 percent of what other companies are seeing in terms of net income margin for instance at the lower end Gallagher is at about 12 percent Amway um, AI uh, Brown and Brown is around 18 percent and CRC which is part of truest the the public financial company that also owns SunTrust and BB and T Bank you know they're probably at an 18 percent net income margin and So there is definitely room for, for them to grow on that. And it could be that some of that net income was the acquisition costs, but it's unlikely that they would double up if you back out that net income. And we're going to elaborate more also on uh, uh, Ryan's uh, specialty group in the full episode. So like this post, go to YouTube, subscribe. And if there are any companies that any of you are interested in us discussing, please let us know. We'd be happy to, to take a look at some of them.